today's technical corner, I'm joined by Lee Kendall, Sam Vic Coromant, and we're going to be talking about iLock. Lee, I know it's not particularly new, but it's still very clever. Can you talk us through it, please? Yeah, I mean, in traditional turning, we have um, the insert that's captivated in the pocket. And of course, what happens then is that causes wear on the insert pocket when you're turning in different directions, in profiling typically. So with TR, we've actually got the location on the bottom of the insert. And what that does is it stops a lot of the wear that you have on the pocket. So here you can see the T, where the name comes from, the T design of the rail. Yeah, the insert's not actually held by the tool in any way other than along the rail and the screw. No further support at all. No, and, not and, even back up here. And you can see from a positive insert, when you change the cutting forces, you start to get movement of the insert, and that quite quickly can wear your, the pocket of the insert, of the of the tool, sorry. And of course, then you start to get micro movement. It affects your tool life and things like that. Well, whereas actually with TR, we don't get that movement. So for profiling mm -hmm. operations uh, and things like that, it's extremely good because you don't get any any movement you get better wear characteristics and also better accuracy for your, your component. Yeah, is, is there no danger, is no more security other than the rail? Is there no damage of a of, of swarf? Is that not an issue? Well, if you look at the tool here in the design, we've actually capture, captivated the, uh, the radius of, the, in, of the, the insert so that that stops any damage on the radius where most of your wear takes place traditionally anyway. Mm -hmm. So we thought about that in, in a way we, we just put, put uh, some protection around it. But of course as well with, with having it in this way we get a good way of getting the high precision coolant to the cutting edge. Yeah, I, th I think it's brilliant. I must, I must be honest. I think it's brilliant for profile and certainly finishing. Yeah. But is it is the same argument? You know, is it the same argument for roughing as well? Of course. I mean, for medium machining, it's probably not. It's a positive insert, so I wouldn't want to use it for heavy roughing or anything like that. But again, the stability that you get in the in the interface with the tool gives you a much more better, much more stable interface for for medium and, and rough machining of the components. And I know you've moved the same technology onto threading as well. Yeah, of course. So with, with threading, you have exactly the same things. As you're going in and out of the thread, you start to get micro movement of the insert. And again, and what's, what's the effect on that? Is it finish? Is it the actual pitch itself? Yeah, you get inaccuracies in the thread, but also then you get the, the surface finish on the flanks can, can be affected and the tool life of the insert because that micro movement makes a huge amount of difference to your tool life. So, of course, we can combine this now on the threading with high precision coolant as well, both under and over jet coolant, and that gives you a massive performance in tool life. So, the iLock technology, along with the high precision coolant, is, is a massive advantage, and that allows us as well to take less passes so it's more productive because the insert's not going to move the same. Yeah, and just looking, it's the best possible scenario for coolant, isn't it? Yeah. It, there's, no, there's nothing there. It, it basically, it's only got the insert and the swarf to touch, hasn't it? That's right. And of course, it, it's unobstructive um, uh, view for the coolant to get to the, to the insert edge, straight to the cutting edge. But we can combine this with uh, multi-threading technology. So we have a range of inserts for standard threads where you can actually take what we would take, maybe 12 passes normally, you can do in three passes because you, it's so stable you can take the, this, um, these not extra cuts because it's, it's chasing the thread as you're going along. So you can use much more um, uh, coarser threads and without any insert movement. Everything we've seen thus far, it's all been external. Is there any tools for internal work as well? Yep, we have the same technology for internal tools. So, so the rail is fitted to the shim and the, the, the tool fits into there. So of course, it, it's very effective internally as well. And you can see here the full range with the SL heads and also the, the boring bars, the, the internal threading bars. And is there any data on it, that, like it's X amount more secure? Is it twice as secure, the insert? Well, in tests, we tend to get up to um, 30 to 40% better tool life just because it's more stable. But when you couple that with the high precision coolant, we're seeing 100, 150% increase in tool life, especially in your stainless steel type materials. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, Lee, and Great. thank you for watching at home.